Hi y'all, so it is takeoff day and it's the beginning of my moving to France vlog. I'm super duper excited. Um, so my flight does not leave Atlanta until 8.01 p.m. tonight. And currently it is like 12 o'clock in the afternoon here. So um, my mom and I are gonna be running some last minute errands. I'm gonna be getting myself together too. I have a bunch of stuff that I still need to like put together before I go. I'm just so excited and I'm so thankful for this this opportunity overall and like in Jesus name I know it's gonna be a wonderful wonderful experience um, so yeah you give me the sweetest Story airplane. <laughs> I think we should have our heads examined. This is not I'm a sorry. thing to do. That's what your in flight entertainment is. Oh my god. I mean, it's a, it can't possibly actually fly. I don't believe it's fly. It's like a skyscraper turned sideways that's gonna fly. Say hi, mom. So tell them where we are. We're on the top floor. We're where? On the top floor. Oh yeah, on the top floor. The plane that we're on is one of the largest in the world. That's what we just It's air And um, it's like a... But it's not a Suite d'objets à l'ouverture des coffres à bagages. Je vous remercie d'avoir voyagé avec Air France. Air France est partenaire Skyteam. Je vous souhaite une excellente journée, bon séjour en Provence. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. We're headed to my dorm right now to drop off my suitcase, and then um, we have some like little errands to run 
Yesterday was a very long day of travel and a couple of slight inconveniences, but it's gonna be okay happened yesterday. So we didn't really vlog yesterday, but my mom took plenty of videos, which is good. Um, I might not vlog that much today, to be honest, but it's still gonna be a really good day and hopefully we'll get some clips of all the stuff that's gonna happen today. Okay, so it is approximately 6.46 p.m. in France. We had a very busy full day. Um, I have a student assistant here that's basically here to help me get set up, help me learn the town of X and also learn campus. And she's been helping with like a lot of other stuff. She's really sweet. Um, and I didn't really film our tour of town, but my mother once again took lovely videos. So I'll be inserting mom cam in here for all that good stuff. But um, on the way to X, we had to stop. We connected in Charles de Gaulle in Paris and then we flew from Charles de Gaulle to X Marseille Airport. They misplaced our luggage. And today, well, I woke up, I took a nap and when I woke up, one of the bags were here. So I'm super happy about that. The bag has arrived. Right now we are actually headed to the, to the store. We're gonna head to kind of, it's called Carrefour. Um, it's kind of like your Sam's, your Walmart, your Costco type store so I can get stuff from my dorm and I'm going to try to film that part because I think that'll be really helpful and cool for the vlog. My dorm is probably from this corner here all the way to that corner there and that includes a mini fridge and a little bathroom cabinet and a little like closet thing. So we don't have a lot to outfit for the dorm which is nice but it's a really really small space so I am going to have to figure out um how to make the best of that space I kind of feel like i'm a pro um at knowing just what i'm gonna need and i have studied abroad a couple of times also in france so i also already knew some of the things that i'd want to purchase while i was here as well as some of the things that i would want just for like a comfortable stay in a dorm room things other little things so yeah you're gonna go to the store with us. We're going to Care For, which is a much more affordable store than the stores here. Aix en Provence is a very expensive city, so shopping in town is very expensive. Um, so, yeah. Oh, look at the This sounds, this feels okay. I don't really sleep on pillows like that. I just need one. You saw how my bed is.
Some of them are like super good. Okay, y'all, the candy aisle. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna tell you my favorite. I love these. These are stupid good. These, these smack. I think I want them. I do. Um, I don't even know. Like, ugh, ugh, yes. So here's what the cart's looking like. Hopefully this is not too much. Um, I'm really scared when we get to the cash register and things add up, but it's gonna be okay. So we got the loot. They made my Is that kind No elevators, so this doesn't look like a lot of stuff, but we have to carry this stuff up uh, three flights of stairs. So let's do that. Cuckoo. Um, bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> so it is Saturday afternoon. We're actually leaving my dorm. My dorm is that building back there through the trees. Um, and we kind of moved me in. As much as we could, we went to care for last night, as y'all saw, and we bought a bunch of stuff and put that in my dorm. We actually made out pretty good. I didn't pack too many clothes, which is really good for me because I'm terrible at that. So that's good. Um, now we're gonna head into like actual uh, city center of Exxon Provence and do some shopping, do some eating, and do some fun stuff. So I'm excited about that. Just excited to be here. Paris, I really love Paris, and I thought that was my favorite city There's in France, coming. but sorry Paris. The south of France is amazing, um, so beautiful here, and I cannot wait to, to come back. Um, we are going to explore in the week. Well, Kayla will be in class, and then I'm going to do some day trips. I'm really excited about that. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> okay, yeah, so see y'all in a minute. So it is lunchtime, y'all. We are ready. Hi, mama. Okay, we've got a gigantic Pellegrino, so we're living large. Um, I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get the house pesto, and then my mom's gonna do the steak frites, and it's gonna be excellent, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama? C'est bon? Oui? Yeah.
So we have arrived at our second hotel and it's really, really cute. So this hotel is actually more, uh oh, in the city center. Has really high, nice ceilings. There's Mama. She has both the windows open. Our little TV. This is the bed. And the mirror. And then it's in the city center, so we look out onto the cool Mirabeau, and there's a restaurant down below. And all the people sitting and stuff. It's really, really, really nice. I think the really ideal place to stay. Good afternoon. It is 3.02 p.m. here. Um, this is going to be kind of like a follow me around today, I think, if I keep videoing. But basically, it's Tuesday. It's my second official day of classes here at Ex Marseille. I'm actually not in my dorm room. I'm in my mom's hotel room. Um, it's really, really nice. Her hotel is about like 15 minutes at max from the building where my courses are. And my dorm is about 30 minutes. So I'm kind of, um, I ended up staying the night with her last night instead of going back to my dorm. And it's just a lot easier for me to get to my dorm from here. So I just stayed here all morning. There was a little market and so I went shopping in my large dress. It was 20 euros. And it's so cute. It fits so, 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 so well. I don't, it's like a slip dress, but it's just really, really long. And it's this beautiful yellow color. And it's, it's so nice. And it's really, really comfy. And I love it so much. It's really, really hot here still. And it's a lot of walking. And so, like, I need something like this that's breathable and comfortable. And that, like, I can still look cute in and not be sweating. And, like, I've been really oily. It's terrible. But otherwise, it's a beautiful country. Beautiful city to be in. Um, but yesterday I had my first class and all my classes, the, the cours, cours magistraux, um, those are like my lecture courses. And today I have a class, I only have one, it starts at 4 p.m. and it's 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop by Foot Locker for my little brother because either he wants like clothes or a pair of shoes, so I'm going to go price out some stuff for him. And then I'm going to grab some lunch, then I'm going to head to class. So we're gonna do all that in like an hour because we have a whole hour to do it. And yeah, but my mom actually, she's not here right now. She went on a day tour to the Côte d'Azur. So she is visiting Nice, Cannes, Saint-Tropez, I think, and, um, and Monica. So that's where she is right now. So it's just in me alone today in the city. But that's fine, this is like, I'll be living here. So this is the best time for me just to kind of get familiar with the area and get also get used to being here by myself because when my mom leaves it's just gonna be me and then hopefully like I meet some more students and make some more friends and stuff like that. So yeah. So I'm probably gonna head to go get some dinner. I don't know where because I once again don't want to spend money, but hopefully I find somewhere. Then I'm in my mom's hotel room. I need to move my stuff from her room to my dorm. So I'm gonna move some of my stuff. And um, the goal is to like stay the night in my dorm. So yeah, hopefully she'll be back soon. Her tour does not get back until like two weeks. So 
Bonsoir. My mom has finally returned from her day of touring. Can say hi, mommy? Hello. <laughs> um, Bonsoir. <laughs> um, so we are at a restaurant right now having dinner, and then I'm gonna walk back to my dorm and mom's gonna go back to her hotel room. But we're just enjoying some really good bread with this really good butter. Say comme ça, and you put it on the bread. So yeah. So dark. To, um, no, I don't want to put the camera in people's face. I like his version. That's what it sounds like. I don't know if that's what it is. So that is the end of my moving to France vlog slash week in my life in France. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, just to give a little bit of context. Um, first of all, I actually was supposed to have arrived in France um, about August 28th. And I didn't arrive until maybe September. I left September 11th. Um, so what had happened was basically uh, the French visa department um in the u.s they withheld my visa they said that they felt that, that I, I didn't provide substantial documents and they didn't let me know until the 20th and my flight was eight days away so i had to resubmit my documents and wait for them to reprocess but we lucked out we got someone at delta shout out to delta who allowed me to change my ticket for the tip 28th to an open ticket and then when i rebooked i would just have to pay the difference so i'm very thankful how everything worked out i really feel like only by the power of god's grace because the french visa department was really playing me. They were so not helpful. It's like a three-step process to get a visa for France as a student. Um, they weren't very helpful. I would like to say that I did my study abroad through ISIP and they were incredibly, incredibly helpful and reassuring through the process. And also my university in France was also really, really helpful, really reassuring. They said that they would give me a grace period of like up to two to three weeks if I needed it so I could still study abroad so I'm really just thankful for all the people that were helpful to me in that time you know and a little trip for my mom and also it was like her to help me move in and really I don't know how I would have done it without my mom I was already so stressed about the visa process and then having to start school and moving to a different country um, it was a lot and so I'm just thankful for everyone that supported me through the process my dad for literally paying for all of this and like allowing me and supporting me to be able to do you know, my major, to study abroad, to live in France. I'm just really grateful for the opportunity. God, literally God. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have a couple more videos coming along, but I thought I would give them context.